Hello and welcome to a new video of Scorch Originals. Today I'm going to talk to you about some solo drills for straight hitting. Very important aspect of the game, hitting the ball straight. A few elements which are important in this area. Um, think about body position, think about footwork, thinking about record preparation, but also the follow through. And solo drills for me is always about feeling, feeling the body, feeling uh, what feels right, what feels easy. The more effortless it gets, the easier, the more energy you will save during your match. Let's get into it. So the first uh, solo drill I would suggest is one where you can uh, gradually improve your uh, stroke uh, by hitting it faster, higher or quicker. And for me, this is all about the control of the speed of the ball, but also on the height on the front hole. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start small and I'm gonna try and hit first the orange marker. And once I've hit the orange marker, I'm gonna go to the green marker. So my record prep, uh, what foot I'm lunging in with, balance in the body, a bit of follow through. And once you get better at this, and I have these markers, you could use anything. Um, you can use a piece of paper, you can use your shoe, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's interesting to see if you can add, hit the different markers. Once you get better at it, you can see if you can mix it up by using the same height so maybe i now i would go just for the service line trying to hit the ball on the service line and see what kind of speed i need to get all the markers so by playing with height and speed for this one i want to have a fixed height so around this area and still get my marker um, but also you could use the same speed like i did in the beginning and just gradually Hit the ball higher on the front wall so it will go deeper. Play with this. I think this is a very uh, useful and important way to um, practice this. And I think this is a good drill for the beginning player. Just to get the feeling of height and speed and play with that. Once you feel you can control those markers which are um, slightly deeper every time, um, it would be Interesting to see how you do hitting the ball consistently, for example, in the service box. So this is one I used to do when I was younger and see how many shots you can hit continuously in the service box. Could be one, could be five, and you wanna just gradually build this up. So play with using the height again. So maybe I use a simple height just above the service line but still I need to use the control of my hand to keep that ball straight. For me this is quite a big marker, but that's fine. What I could work on um, here is keeping my swing relaxed. So if I, I know myself as a player and if I want to hit my target, I could tense up a bit. So for me it's important. I think the, the marker is not the problem. For me it's easy to get the ball in the service box but I just want to work on keeping my arm relaxed while doing this. Uh, this is a good focus point for me. For others it could be, okay, I want to get that ball in the service box continuously. Maybe the first shot will go in, but the second shot is uh, on the half court line. Then I would suggest working on footwork uh, and body position. So keeping the body um, parallel to the side wall and try not to open up too quickly. Most of the time opening up too quickly will come because you're too close to the ball. So keeping distance and uh, body position compared to the side was very important, keeping that ball straight. Then obviously, next thing which is important, well, record prep is always one, 
but follow through. So you don't want to go this way or you don't want to go stopping it. It's important to always keep that real flow in your swing. And see if you can get maybe around 10, maybe around 20 shots continuously in the service box. You can play with also with the stance, open stance, closed stance, open stance, closed stance. You can work on several things here. So um, I think in the beginning, important, consistency in keeping the ball straight, um, using maybe the same height, same speed, see what works for you. Also work on maybe which foot I'm stepping in with, open stance, closed stance. Um, and obviously the follow through is important for keeping the ball straight. And I think also a very important one is hitting this shot the way you would like to hit the ball in the match. So don't focus too much on hitting the marker. So hitting the ball in the service box, but hitting the marker the way you would like to hit it uh, as in the match. So having a, a relaxed and comfortable swing. I think that's very important when you do the solo drill. It's all about the feeling of body. Uh, it feels natural, it feels relaxed. This is the way I would like to hit the ball in the match as well. Another drill maybe for the beginning player, is uh, hitting the tee. And you could, you could even use a bigger marker. Doesn't really matter. It's all about consistency, not exactly hitting it, but still getting most of the shots in this area, as long as they're not there, there and there all over the place. I think you're doing a good job. So using the backhand, right leg in front, Trying to, again, build consistency, like you can see, I'm straightening my follow through, my distance is fine, I have enough reach and I can still feel my balance is okay. This is all, all I work on now. I'm relaxed, I have an early prep, I use my forearm, this part of my arm to control the shot a bit. It's not a full swing. Full swing would be like this. Also a good drill. Different drill. So using this drill would help relaxing. Already getting used to hitting the ball from the back wall uh, with the bounce. So going with the ball. For me, this is all about being relaxed make it small again. The next solo drill uh, you might know um, is hitting the door and what I find interesting about this is there you take the side wall out of the equation so you really need to hit the ball straight you cannot use the side wall. All courts are different so sometimes you play on a court which is has a little bit more of a rough uh, side wall so the ball will come out quicker anyway which makes probably the players on that club hitting the ball straighter better. Um, on these courts, the, the walls are a little bit more slippery. So the ball skits a bit down the side wall if you hit it. So you still get complimented by maybe not hitting a straight drive. By taking the side wall out, um, you really need to hit the ball straight, hitting this door. Um, what I do is I make my target even smaller. So this is the target, the door, but I'm gonna try and hit the half court line. So I'm sure I'm probably will hit this door. Um, okay, here we go.
So all these drills were working on hitting the ball straight um, from any level. So beginning to experienced players using the, the door or just using the service box or some shorter markers, working on speed, working on height, working on balance, working on distance. Um, and those are a lot of points you can work on. So I would suggest if you go into a solo drill, pick one or two, um, that would be enough. I would start with feeling balanced and having the right distance. Those, those go together anyway. Having the right distance is very important not to rotate the body and keeping the ball straight. Feeling free in your swing. Um, this is something I feel is very important as well in your solo drill is it's not so much about hitting the target, it's more about uh, feeling comfortable and feeling relaxed hitting your shot. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Please leave your comments down below. Um, I try to respond to every single comment I get. Um, thank you for all, all your support. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this channel so I can keep building. And I see you on the next one.